Hey there, it's Midian here, and welcome back to Marvel Legendary. Last time we defeated Hela, the Goddess of Death, with a couple of pretty, pretty good decks. Today we're facing Authoritarian Iron Man for, I believe, the third time <laughs> this series. Maybe this time we'll finally win. He always leads the Superhuman Registration Act. Master Strike Authoritarian Iron Man fortifies the next city space to his right, starting with the bridge. You cannot fight him while there's a villain in that space, and villains in that space get plus three attack. So by the time he reaches the sewers, it's going to be very hard to fight him, because there's usually going to be something in the sewers. Usually. And the scheme is the Fall of the Hulks. Set up ten twists. Six wounds per player in the wound stack. Oh no. Use exactly two heroes with Hulk in their hero names. Twist 3 through 6, cross-dimensional Hulk rampage. Twist 7 through 10, each player gains a wound. Evil wins when the wound stack runs out. Okay, so twist 1 and 2 do nothing, which is good. Gives you a little bit of time to prepare by getting some Hulks to stop the cross-dimensional Hulk rampage. Uh... I don't know how this is going to go. And we're also facing the Brotherhood and the Brood. Playing as Apocalyptic Black Widow, King Black Panther, Gamora Destroyer of Thanos, Captain and the Devil, and General Okoye. And I think these two are going to be replaced with the Hulks. The scheme. Let's find out. Yep. Master Strike, Authoritarian Iron Man, fortifies the next city space to his right, starting with the bridge. Can't fight him while there's a villain in that space. Villains in that space get plus three attack. Okay, we have a four, four, and a three, five split. There's a five cost here. Um, however... Don't think I want this card. Oh, that's rough. Because... Yeah, Hulks usually have... a lot of self-wound. Oh no. Just hurl truck stew. Smash two, smash two, two attack. That's pretty good. Okay, I want this on this side. I'm gonna be getting wounds from this, so Unstoppable Hulk is probably pretty good. I absolutely never taken Crazed Rampage. That's just bad. Bad, bad idea. Uh, there's no card draw yet, but. Card draw is usually a pretty strong strategy, and if Gamora has a lot of card draw cards... Wounding villains... Do wounds on villains go back to the wound stack? Yes. So this is going to be incredibly useful for preventing wounds. I feel like this card's going to be great later, um, but currently it's a one attack card, which is not ideal. I'm going to be getting wounds, no matter what. Like, even if I play super ideally, by the time twists 7 through 10 come out, I'm going to be getting wounds. So I'm going to start by taking this. Let's 
So one gets plus one attack for each bystander in the KO pile. Fight, KO one of your heroes, then KO a bystander from the bystander stack. Okay. Fight this for one. KO one of my heroes. I'm gonna KO agent. And then I KO a bystander from the bystander stack. It's a lawyer. It's this lawyer. So I'm absolutely taking this on this side's next turn. The question is, what am I taking? I guess I'm just taking her illegal objections. Objection. Hurl Trucks is good. And it is a Hulk card for cross dimensional Hulk rampage. Could also. Yeah, I'll just take that for now. What if draw two? It's pretty good. Don't have a way to set it up though. Okay, twist one does nothing. What did I take over here? That is not a strength card for this. And this wasn't a strength card either. This card's really good, if I can get the what-if. If I can't get the what-if, it's a two-attack card. It's not very good. I'm gonna want this to KO some wounds, I think. Doesn't Akoye have self-wounding stuff too? I'm pretty sure. That's uh, that's unfortunate. Is not ideal for this scheme. <sighs> this card's gonna be really good later, probably. Maybe if I start buying a bunch of new recruits and sidekicks, and maybe I can get tit Titanicide to work. I'm going to take this with the assumption that I'm going to be able to make it work. And I'm taking this one. pretty good on the left because the left has two of these already. Alright, so I have three attack. I'm gonna fight this for two. Fight KO one of my heroes and then KO a bystander from the bystander stack. I want this on the right side because the right side has the strength card to actually trigger it. Which means I'm buying an officer. Okay, twist number two also doesn't do anything. I need Hulk cards on this side. I have a Hulk, I have one Hulk card. I guess I don't need Hulk cards. I mean, I do, but I can't take this. This card is not takeable. I cannot pick that up, ever. Three recruits. I need enough recruit to transform this, so am I taking an officer? I suppose I am.
Master Strike. Okay, he fortifies it over here. This is the same deal. Am I taking another officer? I don't believe I want another officer. But I'll do it anyways. Can't defeat Blob unless you have an X-Men hero. Well, there's a pretty big problem with that. And that there are no X-Men heroes in here. There's X-Men sidekicks, I guess. So I guess I need to look for some of those. Okay, what am I taking here? This one. things at three. I'm gonna fight it for three. Okay, one of my heroes and then KO a bystander from the bystander stack. I think I'm KOing a trooper. Most of the time, this is going to be a three recruit card, which is pretty good. Because they have only instinct on this side. Okay. Ambush. Each player KOs two heroes from their discard pile. It's uh, a pretty good ambush effect. escape effect, actually. Okay, I've got four attack. Four attack, five recruits. I can manipulate that a little bit. Take the other She-Hulk card, in which case I don't need the recruits. I'm going to discard this to draw this. Oh, I have six attack, which I can use to fight Juggernaut. Uh, which I will probably do. People mowing the lawn outside of my window, so I'm sorry about that. Um, do I want to gain an officer this turn? I think I do. So I may gain a shield officer, and I will do that. I kind of want this escape effect, but I shouldn't just leave them in here. I'll buy this for three. How to withdraw a card? It's a good. It's a good card. And yeah, that is very loud. can't fight this. Ah, that's super frustrating. Did I take the She-Hulk? Uh, I can't outwit very easily on this side. I mean, I have threes and I have a two. Maybe I can? Take this. This will usually just be a two attack card, but sometimes it will draw me two, which is really good. Okay, five recruit. I don't have to transform you. I'm gonna take another one of these. I liked this deck when I used it. 
whenever I used it last. I think it was... Was it last video that I used a General Okoye, lead the Dora Milaji sort of thing? I think it was last video. Okay, okay. This is the card I need on the left. I have found... I found the secret sauce. There's a lot of She-Hulk going on over here. All right. I'm gonna what if Gamora, I think. No, I'm gonna what if instinct. Because there's two instincts in here. Okay, I need this to st I need this to start setting up this, and it also buffs my one attack card drop synergy thing. I'll buy a sidekick. Three attacks, not enough to fight anything. Okay, ambush fortify your deck. While Iron Spider fortifies a player's deck. The player draws one fewer card at the end of the turn. This is escaped. Escape fortified the hero deck. While it's fortified, whenever a hero in the HQ costs seven or more, KO that hero, and I need to KO something from in here, and I'm going to KO this one since I can never take this card. All right, goodbye. That sucks. I'm going to fight Iron Spider. Fight, reveal the top card of the villain deck if it's worth 2 VP or less. Iron Spider fortifies the deck of the player on your left. It isn't good. And then 5 recruits. I think this will outwit a reasonable amount of the time. And I need more Hulk cards. Of spectrum. Don't have any wounds yet. Didn't draw any cards. Why are people mowing the lawn at 9.30 in the morning? That is frustrating and annoying. What else is frustrating and annoying? The fact that I can't fight anything this turn. Because I don't have an X-Men here to fight you. Well, what am I buying here? Titanicide. You only have oh, I forgot to turn this back up once I fought the Iron Spider. You should have this many cards. Okay, Twist 3, Cross Dimensional Hulk Rampage. This side reveals this one to avoid the wound, and this side reveals this to avoid the wound. transform this this turn and I will absolutely do that so to recruit need to discard this to draw a card uh, I don't know what the order matters for this but I'm gonna do it this way once per turn if you made at least six recruit this turn transform this into hurl trucks this is mine now So two attack, smash two, smash two. And two attack, I may gain a shield officer, or I can KO a shield officer to get two attack. I don't think I need to. But 
but I will gain a shield officer, I think. Or will I? How many do I have over here? I'll just gain one, why not? Okay, I have eight attack. Fight you for six. Can I fight two things? No. This guy has three additional attack, but I'm not fighting him anyways because wounds and I don't want to gain wounds. Fight Yellow Jacket. This escape effect isn't bad, but that's a bad escape effect. I'm going to fight this for six. And what am I buying? I have instinct on this side, but I think I'd rather just take this. Get the uh, shield officer chain a pumpin. And then. I don't know about this. I do have instinct to trigger the spectrum. And I have this to trigger the spectrum. Yeah, fine. Just keep the HQ moving so that I can get more Hulk carts. I am going to lose my mind. This guy's currently at four. Okay. Five recruit. Take the card draw synergy, I guess. I... Oh my god. You... You bastard. And this guy's at four, so I can't fight him. Everything is going wrong. Okay. Twist four, cross-dimensional Hulk rampage. Uh, neither side has a Hulk. I can prevent one of the wounds. Which of the wounds am I preventing? I'm going to prevent this side's wounds. So that means this side gains a wound. This side returns the wound to the wound stack. Draws a card, and then wounds a villain. So the wound on the villain means it gets minus one attack. I can't fight either of these, so wounding them is pointless. I think I'm going to wound a Miss Marvel. So now that I have four. And when you defeat a villain with a wound, the wound returns to the wound stack, so... This is helpful. And two attack. Do I have a shield? Oh, I have a wound to KO. I'm gonna KO this to gain two more attack. I'm gonna fight this for four and fight this for five, I guess. Yep, fight this for four. The wound gets returned to the wound stack. And I'm gonna fight this for five. And I'm going to buy a sidekick. <sighs> this isn't the right sidekick. If only this was the phasing one, that would be really good. I'm going to say what if instinct? Oh no, I only have one instinct in there. What if Gamora? I have two Gamora cards, I'm pretty sure, is still in there. One of these, and then the setup one. I'm gonna say, what if Gamora? Yeah, I got it. Oh, I have three Gamora cards. Uh, so what if I draw two? Okay, and then I draw 
one attack, draw two, and then I put a card from my hand on top of my deck. I put this one. Then two attack, I'm going to say what if ranged. Oh, it's a ranged card. I draw two. Um, so I drew six cards this turn. Wow. Suddenly, everything's going really good, except for the fact that I can't fight the Mastermind because this guy's here, and I can't fight him because of his stupid fight effect. Uh, I guess I'm fighting Yellow Jack and getting rid of him. Uh, I don't want Lockheed in my deck, so I'm just going to play him to get rid of him. I fight Yellow Jacket for five because I have the size changing. I fight this for four. Yep, four. Fight KO one of my heroes and then KO a bystander. And then I'm not fighting Sabretooth and I'm just gonna hope Iron Man moves eventually. <laughs> Drawing cards on this side is good. I can trigger the outwit pretty reliably. KOing cards is good. But I need the instinct trigger, which I have three instinct cards, I think. I'm just gonna buy these two, I think. Never mind, I'm buying these two. Okay, Twist 5, Cross Dimensional Hulk Rampage. This side doesn't have a Hulk card. This side also doesn't have a Hulk card. Okay. Not doing too good. Two recruits, discard a card to draw a card. Two attack to KO a wound from my discard pile to get two more attack. I do have the spectrum here. Take a sidekick. Okay, one attack, draw two. I'm gonna put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Two attack, I'm gonna say, what if Gamora? Wow, it's Gamora. So I draw two, and then this is one attack plus four more attack. Instinct Ambush, draw a card. Wow. Okay, I can't. I mean, superpowers are optional, so I never have to do this. Uh, it's just a two attack card. I mean, I could do this with the preventative card. slash effort. I'm just going to buy a sidekick. Another strike is going to come out eventually, right? Okay, I'm going to start with this two recruit outwit draw card. 
Alright, then I've got this. And I made enough recruits, so I transformed this into hurl trucks. This is two attacks, smash two. This is two attack. This is two attack, and I can KO an officer or a wound to get two more attack. I don't think I'm going to. I'm just going to fight this for five. Oh, and I'm not gaining an officer with this either. Yeah. So I KO one of my heroes, and then I KO a bystander from the bystander stack, and I'm going to buy another patriotic chomp. Am I buying this? Fine. Whatever. I want to keep the HQ moving. That's never getting done. Unless I keep buying sidekicks. Eventually, if I bu keep buying sidekicks, I'll get X-Men. Hey, that's an X-Men. Okay, two recruits, out with draw card. I do outwit, right? Yeah, 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 I have an officer. Two recruit, out with draw card. Uh, what is the last card in my deck? It's a good question. To attack, KO the wound. What is the last card in my deck? I think it's a starter card. Yeah, I have no idea. I'm just gonna say what if Gamora and maybe it'll work. Ah, oh, it was She-Hulk. So I drew one card this turn. Uh, this is frustrating. I don't want to ever fight you because... Uh, Surely another strike's got to come out soon, right? This is so frustrating. Do you have the thing to negate one wound? No. When that comes out, I'll fight this so that one wound comes out. And what am I buying here? Oh, another one of these. That's fantastic. Ambush. Each player KOs two heroes from their discard pile. Uh, no. Rescue a bystander and draw a card. Okay. Drew a card from this too. Two attacks, smash two. And, uh... not do the other one. Two attack, I may gain a shield officer. I guess I will. Um, I do get the spectrum. I don't think I'm going to play Darwin this turn. Fight you for six. I'm going to buy another one of these. Twist number six, cross-dimensional Hulk rampage. This side reveals this. This side reveals this. Okay. So eight more wounds are going to come out from twist seven through ten. I mean, it's possible that I don't lose. to KO a card. Well, first I'm going to outwit. Two recruit, outwit, draw a card. And then I'm going to play this while I have Spectrum. Okay, and 
Then I'm going to KO a card from my hand or discard pile and put this on the bottom of the sidekick stack. Um, what if Gamora? No. Ah, uh, I need that. I'm going to buy a sidekick. Ambush, fortify your deck. I will remember. I do have Spectrum. I do have Spectrum. Two recruit out with draw a card. I have two, three, four. Two recruit. I may discard a card to draw a card. You have Spectrum. Okay, I'm gonna fight Iron Spider for two. And this is worth two or less. This goes back here. I will remember to put this back. Uh, fighting that again doesn't do anything. Am I fighting Sabertooth? No. I think I just have to trust that eventually, eventually, Iron Man's going to move over. I'm going to start with this, I'm going to draw two, and then I'm going to put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Then... What if Gamora? Oh, it's Gamora. So I draw two. And two recruit out with draw a card. Have any wounds to KO? No? Okay. Two attack. Then this is one attack plus I drew five this turn. I'm gonna fight this for six. This. I'm going to fight this for two. Okay. So I did defeat this. Buy this for three. Instinct ambush draw a card. I drew six this turn. Am I fighting this? Do I have the thing to prevent it? No. Where is that card? Give me that card. I need it. that I'm wasting so much attack. I want to KO an officer this turn. Uh, I don't think I want to gain one, though. Do I have a wound to KO in here? No. I'm going to fight you for five. Buy and a sidekick. Alright. If twist seven, each player gains a wound. I do have the way to stop this. I'm gonna give the wound to this side and prevent this side's wound. So this side gains a wound. The side prevents the wound, returns it to the wound stack, and then wounds a villain. Okay, two outwit. Two recruit outwit draw a card. This is one attack, and I drew a card, so it's one more attack. Three attacks, Soulbind, KO a card from my hand or discard pile. I 
Like, it's not like killing this thing is going to let me fight Iron Man. I'm not getting enough attack to fight him anyways. Oh my lord, I'm going to cry. <sighs> Who knew the Brotherhood would be the the end of my existence? This is so unbelievably frustrating. But I do have this, so I can fight this this turn. Two attacks, smash two, smash two. Two attack. I'm going to KO the wound to get two more attack. Then this is three attack. This is three attack. I'm going to fight this for four. Fight. Each player reveals an X-Men hero or gains a wound. I'm going to prevent the wound on this side with this. Oh, I never drew the card from when I did this last turn. So I get the wound on this side. I return the wound over here, draw a card, and then I wound a villain. I'm going to fight Authoritarian Iron Man for 12. Wait, he had more. He had plus 3. So I can't fight Authoritarian Iron Man this turn. Nope, sure can't. Two recruit out with draw card. Two recruits out with draw card. One attack, draw two, and then put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Two attack, what if boom boom? Oh, it's boom boom. Then I draw two. Uh, one, it's I'm gonna say time bomb. One attack, put this on top of my deck. Two attack, what if boom boom? Ah, it's boom boom. Then I draw two. Then one attack. I draw two, and then I put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Then I didn't get any of my payoff cards. It's very unfortunate. Fight Authoritarian Iron Man for 12. Is this right? I think I should be at 3. Fight! Each other player reveals their hand and discards all their cards with recruit icons. Okay. Did shockingly little. I have 11 recruit. The streets are never going to be empty because this is about to be in the streets. Am I buying two attack cards? I don't think I'm buying two attack cards. I think I'm buying three new recruits. Okay. The blobs are here for the blobs are here forever. Wait, is Boom Boom an X-Men? No, she's an X Factor? I don't know. But she isn't an X-Men. I don't have Spectrum. Two attack, KO the wound for two more attack. And a 
think I'm giving myself an officer. Or, yeah, I will. I need some stuff to, like, KO. You're at six, so I'm gonna fight you for six. Fight, KO one of your heroes, and then KO a bystander from the bystander stack. Alright, each player gains a wound, and I can't prevent them. Two attack, draw two, and then put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Two attack, what if She-Hulk? Uh, She-Hulk, then I draw two. Two recruits, outwit, draw a card. Two attack, KO this. Two more attack. Three attack. Soul bind. To KO a card from my hand or discard pile. I'm gonna time bomb one attack and put this on top of my deck. Then I drew five cards this turn, so this is six attack. And this is six attack. Don't have the way to prevent the wounds, so if I fight this, um, I send one wound back. But I gain two, so there'll be a three wounds left. So I still lose on twist ten if I do that. So I'm gonna fight this for. I can't fight Iron Man because this asshole, freaking blob piece of shit. Ugh. If only this was captured by literally anything else. Warlock would have made this so much better. I'm fighting this for five, for four. So this gets returned to the wound stack, and each side gains a wound. And I'm gonna fight this for five. And there are three twists in here. Iron Man's gonna move, eventually. don't have Spectrum, but I do have Double Smash. Did I even need to Smash to fight this? I don't think I did, but whatever. I'm going to fight this for seven. Okay, one of my heroes, KO a Bystander, and I'm going to buy this. There we go. Okay, Iron Man goes here. I can now fight him again. Beautiful. Wait, I have skits. This is an X-Men! That's incredible. It doesn't do anything right now, but it's incredible. One attack draw a card. One attack draw a card. Two attack, KO wound to get two more attack. Your two cards this turn. I do have Spectrum. So I drew two this turn, so this is three. I'm gonna fight Authoritarian Iron Man for twelve. Plus six recruit, usable only to recruit ranged and or tech heroes. Uh, cool. Time bomb. I'm not going to play skids. 
because that might save my ass later in the game. And he moves over to the bank. Do outwit to recruit outwit draw card. To recruit, I may discard a card to draw a card. Do you have Spectrum? I don't have an X-Men. I don't like Throg, I'm just gonna do this. I mean, it's possible that this gets KO'd at some point, and this is just a Buy the three attack card. Okay, I'm going to draw two, and then I put a card from my hand on top of my deck. To attack, what if strength? So I draw two. I draw a card and get plus two recruit. Then two recruit out with draw a card. Two recruit out with draw a card. One attack draw a card. One attack draw a card. Where's my payoff cards? One attack draw a card. Okay. I drew a lot of cards this turn and did not get the card I needed to do anything with that. That fucking sucks. Time bomb. Not playing this. Fighting this for eight. Fight KO one of my heroes and then KO one of these. Twelve recruit, huh? To have Spectrum. To attack, gain a shield officer. To attack, KO the shield officer. For two more attack. Three attack. I'm gonna fight Authoritarian Iron Man for 12. The villain with the highest printed attack in the escape pile enters the city space that authoritarian Iron Man is fortifying. I've had escapes. Wait, what? Oh, this escaped. Oh, I had fortify escapes happen. Okay. And three recruits. I'm going to buy... One of these, maybe. I mean, I'm reaching the end of the road here. That might push me over to win. Okay, you're over here now. I do have Spectrum. One attack, draw two, and then put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Two recruit, outwit, draw a card. This is three attack. And a time bomb, or wait, hold up. Before I do that, do I have any wounds to KO? No. Can I fight you and you? You're at 10, 12, I would need to get... No, I can't, so I'm going to time bomb. And fight this for 10. Buy a patriotic chomp or two, new, two more new recruits. Just keep buying 
Just keep buying new recruits. It'll work out eventually. To recruit out with draw a card. To attack KO. Do I have a wound in here? No. To attack KO this wound to get two more attack. To attack smash two, smash two. Three attack. Fight authoritarian Iron Man for 12. Deal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a villain, it enters the city space that authoritarian Iron Man is fortifying. It isn't. Uh, I might actually win. Okay, so twist nine. Each player gains a wound. Um, I'm going to prevent the left from getting the wound with this. So... This side gets a wound, but this side returns the wound to the wound stack, draws a card, and then I wound a villain. So I haven't lost yet, and I might be able to win this turn. That that should be here. One attack, draw a card. One attack, draw two and then put a card from my hand on top of my deck to attack what if Gamora? Wow, it's Gamora. One attack, draw two, and put a card from my hand on top of my deck. Then one attack, draw a card. One attack, draw a card. Do have Spectrum until I play Boom Boom. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I played nine cards this turn, so this is ten attack. And this is ten attack. Uh, I'm not gonna soul bind. And I'm gonna Boomer. Because if I melt down, I lose. I'm gonna fight authoritarian Iron Man for twelve. I am shocked that I won with these two assholes blocking me at every turn. Man, who knew the Brotherhood would be the biggest challenge of this? game. I didn't I didn't know that. But I did manage to win. So yay me, let's count some victory points. The left side got forty six. And the right side got forty five. Perfectly balanced almost, as all things should be almost. Uh Gamora's really good. This is a good hero. <laughs> Generally speaking, drawing a lot of cards is pretty strong. And then if you have a card that gets better if you draw a lot of cards, that's also pretty strong. And then this deck was Strength. Strength of Koye. I still don't know how I feel about this card. It seems good, but uh, this card saved my bacon. I would have lost if it wasn't for it. Yep. Good work, Okoye. You were the reason I won this game. Anyways. What a rough game. Sorry about the uh, lawnmower. I can't do anything about that. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.